Hello everybody, welcome back, it's Jordan here. As we all know, I just finished building this seven story building for the Lego city. And today we're going to be destroying it. But then we'll also be rebuilding it so that it is taller. Now the reason we have to destroy it to make it taller is because we're gonna be substituting some of the parts in here. I built all of these white panels using one by two bricks. And just recently I found one by two by five white panels on BrickLink for a very good price. So what I'm gonna be doing is swapping out all of the panels so that we can use the one by two bricks in these panels to create some of the sidewalls. Also right over here, you can see I have some black plates that we're gonna be using to create the floors of the new levels of the skyscraper. Also some one by two by two slope pieces or two by two slope pieces, sorry. And also some six by six white panels and some uh, one by two by two glass panels as well. So first things first, I gotta destroy this thing even though I just finished building it. Now, believe me when I say this, I do not want to do this. However, I do want to build a bu bigger building and this was the most economical way of doing that. Uh, we're gonna be able to add, I believe five to seven new stories after we destroy this building here and use some of the new parts. Now, a lot of these floors should just be able to pop off from one another, but unfortunately I didn't top them using tiles, so it's all held on by studs all the way around. So literally, I think the fastest way to do this will be, we'd have to destroy it because I'm not able to just pull this out and then replace it with a white panel. It just won't uh, fit in there perfectly right it's just gonna not it's not gonna work so the only way to do it is to pull it apart so i just have to bite the bullet here and face the fact that i'm gonna have to rebuild this i can try and keep certain elements of it built but i just have to rebuild the entire thing um the reason i built it this way is because i don't think I guess I could have tried to keep the roof intact, but oh well, it is what it is. We just have to destroy the entire thing and rebuild it. <laughs> Good thing I like uh, building Lego, right? Because if I didn't enjoy building Lego, then this would be sort of silly. Um, I honestly think that this is the only way to do this. I, I, I wouldn't be able to pull it out and substitute each thing. We just have to sort of rip it apart. And the reason I didn't top it with the uh, black tiles so that this could just pop off easily is because um, I don't have enough black tiles. And also I don't think I'm going to be putting in um, details in the floor. So we don't really have to access this building. However, I still wanted to add um, floors to it because if you don't add floors to it, it sort of looks hollow, right? So that's why I decided to, to stick with doing floors. In fact, you can see some of my floors aren't even all 100% complete. They're just sort of there for uh, the look of it. This thing is just heart-wrenching though to be tearing this thing apart. Like I literally just finished building this. It's crazy. But in order to access those white panels, it's got to be done had to be done and this is wild but you can see just the sheer amount of pieces that are inside of this thing here and I am just doing the sloppiest job ever of tearing it tearing it apart but once I'm done tearing it apart I'll probably sort all the pieces and go from there what's incredible is how quickly this is coming apart <laughs> Obviously you can tear apart Lego a lot faster than you can build it. This thing took me hours to build and it's gonna take me hours to rebuild, but it is what it is. I guess I could be sorting it while I'm taking it apart, but I don't really care at this point. I'm just gonna rebuild it in this video here with the pieces being a massive sort of hodgepodge. And I know this is probably hard to watch, but make sure you stick around for the end of this video because what we're gonna be left with is a much bigger and actually better building. Um, because also when we use those white 
um, those white panels rather than the bricks, we're going to be able to see less seams in the actual panels itself. So, so it's going to look better too. Also, I'm going to be able to, with the addition of these new black uh, plates that we got in that pad or on that, uh, sorry, in the Bricklink call, uh, we're going to be able to use. Uh, better use those parts to create uh, a more consistent flooring. So I'm thinking you can just leave it at this here and maybe hopefully now, uh, no, may as well take it all apart. Because there's panels in here that I need to replace as well so that we can maximize our part usage. Okay, so now we've got it down to the base floor. Look at this mess I create. I create great mess, don't I? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, because there is white panels here that could be replaced as well on these sides. So we may as well pull those out. Pull that out so that we can use those pieces and replace them with these just so we can maximize the amount of uh, white 1x2 bricks that we extract from the original build here. So now that it, I, I got it all pulled apart and you guys enjoyed that and you guys can see my big pile of bricks here, big mess, yep. Yeah. Now we're gonna turn it into a speed build format where we're gonna rebuild this skyscraper from the ground floor all the way up. So sit back and enjoy. That was a lot of fun. We've added four floors to our high-rise building here, making it what I believe to be a skyscraper now. I even have to take a few steps back to capture it all in the video screen here. So we went from seven floors to 11 floors, and I'm pretty pumped up for that. Originally, I thought I was gonna add five to seven more stories, but it turns out swapping out those panels didn't generate as many pieces as I thought it would. However, I am definitely satisfied with the overall size of it. Will I be making it taller? Uh, maybe, maybe if I find more white bricks on my pick-a-brick wall. You can see I do have some leftover panels, uh, white panels and glass panels over here, but I am completely out of black plates to create the floors in the interior. Stuck with the same design as the previous model, because I really do like it. If you guys have any questions about how I built it, just let me know by commenting below. But what do you say we place it into the LEGO City? Yeah, I think we should. Let's place it and see how it looks in Brickminton.
Well, I'll uh, have to move the cargo plane, I guess, because it's essentially landing on the roof of the skyscraper when you place it here into the Lego city. Oh, I like the size of it, though. It looks pretty awesome. Uh, we just have to add a few more floors onto our Sig Fig high rise here. Going to be getting some more dark bluish gray elements so that we can try and make it the same size as the what I'm calling office tower uh, building here. But yeah, it looks pretty awesome and I'm, I'm pretty stoked that we added the four floors to the high rise building there. Looking at it now, it's like, oh geez, I don't know if I should make it any taller because it's absolutely massive. And it's just sort of towering over the Avengers Tower, which I will be uh, increasing the size of very quickly here as well. That thing needs to be double the height or at least the same size as the office tower for sure. The nice thing about the office tower is all I had to invest in it so far to create it was one pick a brick cup for 20 Canadian dollars and also one brick link order for $53.67. So not bad. This thing only cost me about 75 bucks so far and everything else, all the parts from it just came from my inventory. So I'm pretty pumped up. It looks pretty awesome. It adds a whole new dynamic here to the Lego city. Let me know what you guys think by commenting below. Give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe for some more great stuff coming out in the near future. And that's really it for today. Have yourselves a great one. Bye for now. I wanted to give a special shout out to all the people who supported me using Super Chat and Super Stickers during my live streams. Thank you so much. It's highly appreciated. And make sure you stay tuned for more live streams as I'll be building all of my LEGO sets using the live stream function here on YouTube. Thanks a lot. Stay tuned and we'll see you again. Bye for now.